Your resume alone won't land you a job, but it could make or break your chances of getting an interview. There's no one way to write a resume, and you're welcome to be creative, but there are a few essentials which should be included. In this video, I'll share some tips with you, and after watching, you'll be able to create an effective sales resume. On the header of your resume, make sure you have your name, address, a phone number, email address, and a link to your LinkedIn page listed. And make sure it's a personal email and phone number. Don't list your work contact information on your resume. Generally, you'll have your name, bold, and a larger font than the rest of the text. Here, we use Times New Roman, size 18, and for the rest of the font, we use Times New Roman, size 12. You can use whatever size and font you find appropriate, but remember to choose a legible font and make it consistent throughout your resume. We recommend providing a summary under your contact information. In one or two sentences, list your career objective and motivations towards joining a specific organization. Tailor it to the company which you are applying. This gives the hiring manager a brief snapshot of who you are before diving into your experience. Next, we recommend including your professional experience. List your work experience chronologically, putting your most recent role at the top and then listing past work experience below that. Make sure you list the company, your title, and the time frame you were in the role. Next, include a brief statement of what your company does and the products or services you sell. This helps the hiring manager better understand your current role without needing to do further research. Then, be sure to list your responsibilities and accomplishments. I cannot emphasize enough how important it is to document your successes. We are salespeople, and numbers matter, so make sure you include them. If you were 100% of quota for the year, write it down. If you received an accolade such as President's Club, put it on the resume. If you were promoted, mention it. Be as specific as possible. If you are the number one sales rep, be sure to include out of how many. If you are 115% of quota, be sure to mention what your quota was. You may feel like you are bragging, and that's okay, as long as the information you provide is accurate. The competition is stiff, and you want to stand out. Once you have captured your current role, move on to past work experiences following the same steps. When you are writing your responsibilities, make sure you use strong and proactive words. Take ownership of your work and stay away from words such as assisted or helped. Use words like managed, accomplished, or closed. Use lots of numbers and percentages to describe success. We recommend listing your responsibilities and accomplishments with bullets rather than in paragraph form. It makes it easier to read and to follow. Once you finish documenting your work history, move on to record your education. Include the school you attended, list your degrees and certifications, and the date of your graduation. If your GPA was 3.0 or higher, put that on your resume as well. Here, you should also list any collegiate activities you participated in, such as athletics, campus organizations, or if you worked as a volunteer. If you'd like, you can also list any skills you possess such as experience with a CRM or software program. You can also mention any interests or hobbies you have outside of work. This will help give a more complete picture of who you are as an individual. Reread your resume to see if you made any grammatical errors or if you need to add or remove anything listed. You do not need to say references available upon request. It takes up space and that is something that hiring managers are aware of and will ask during the necessary stage of an interview process. I hope you found this helpful. Please visit our website and download our free template to help out with your own resume. It could just make the difference and help you land an interview with an exciting company. Good luck with your job search, and if you need any help, please don't hesitate to connect with Treeline. We would love to hear from you.